Today, I am restarting Madden Ultimate Team. Throughout this video, I'm gonna be making coins and any no money spent tips throughout the entire video. I already have the account made and I have around 20 to 40K already on it just from playing solos. So now let's move over to that account. But yeah, we are starting with 25K and a few players. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do here is do a team builder set or two or three. All right, boys, I am back already and we got ourselves six snipes. This all adds up to a total of 6,600 coins. Moving on over over to the auction house we're going to be looking to complete the Debo Samuel team builder the reason we're going to be completing this set is because Debo Samuel has an LTD card meaning you need his team builder to go inside of the power up his team builder is currently 14k and should hopefully sell pretty quickly so we'll make a quick five or six K I'm gonna go my own way here boys I'm gonna keep completing team builder sets and then I'm gonna eventually start opening some get a player packs and then once I start opening those get a player packs if I pull anything good I'll obviously show you guys Ooh, a team of the week pull a 83 overall Joe Mixon. How much is he going for? Around 3,000 coins. Hey, I'm gonna go ahead and take that. That's a good pull. Ooh, a harvest card? Come on. Hey, 82 overall Mitch Morris. I'll take it. Power up pull. Come on. Bo Jackson power up. Hold up. Bo Jackson power up selling around 4k coins. We'll take that. Let's go, baby. Alrighty, boys. So it has been a little bit. As you guys can see in the top right hand corner, I have 111,000 coins as well as I am an 80 overall. Basically, what I've been doing is just opening get a player packs and doing team builder sets. At the time that I'm recording right now, this new Black History Month promo just came came out and basically I went ahead and completed all those solos and added them to this team so we have tons of 88 overall cards which I'm pretty sure I can get these to 93s as well as we also have these free cards like Bobby Wagner and Ronnie Lott who are gonna be on my defense since I cannot complete the Rasul Douglas for some reason I didn't get the Deontay Johnson team of the year a little weird there but it is what it is so yeah like I said other than that we just been opening get a player packs I basically just been selling off every single card that I pull I did exchange a few up into team builders when they had absolute no value but yeah other than that i've just been selling all these cards as you guys can see right here all these power-ups and all all the other cards as well so i'm around 111k as you guys can see one more thing that i want to go over real quick is i do have this pro fantasy pack so let's go ahead and open this maybe get 14k worth of value here um this was a free pack i just got it for leveling up and we do get an 89 i'm not going to complain about this pack i will take that so just like that Derek thomas is currently around 24 23k that's like double the amount that the pack's worth and we got that pack for free i'll sell it for around 22 we'll get 20k profit after tax and just like that we'll be around 130k so for now boys i'm gonna keep opening get a player packs like i said if i get anything crazy or something like that i'll show you guys that probably until i get up to around 200 to 250k until we start looking for other coin methods that we can take advantage of oh platinum card hold up 82 overall platinum yo what the heck let's go baby power up come on give me that cheese denzel ward power up oh okay that's not bad that's not a bad pull. Power up. Marshawn power up. Yeah. Let's go, baby. All right, boys. We just finished opening all those get a player packs. Let's get to selling. William Jackson right off the bat, 26K. We spent probably around 35K on all these. So already we made 26 out of the 35K back. Marshawn Lynch, you guys already saw this guy. He's going for around a lot. I'm going to try to get like 13K for him, 12K for him. That'll work. Next up on the list here, we got this Demario Davis card. He's going for around 3K. Hey, I'll take the profit. I think the rest of these guys aren't really going to go for too much. They'll sell for a little bit here and there. But yeah, the only guy that I know that has some extra value right here is Denzel Ward. So I'm going to go ahead and throw him up for around the 5k mark that he's been selling at. I'm not going to settle for that 2k. So yeah, I'm going to go sell the rest of these cards. Alrighty, boys. So it's been a little bit. Uh, we've been open get a player pack. So we've made ourselves all the way up to 220k. I also did two other things that will help build out our team. If we come down to unopened packs. So you guys can see I've got a lot of stuff and we're going to go ahead and open that right now. And then I'm going to go over two new players that we have added to the team already as we get a most feared player 85 sam darnold that's just superb the one thing that i wanted to make clear is that we'll probably team build mostly at the end the only types of cards that we'll add throughout this video are obviously just free players that i get from solos or just from grinding and just stuff like that in general as we get in the second round here hopefully we can get something good 83 lamar i guess we'll take that nothing out of that gridiron pack i'm not too sure what the superstar champions fancy pack is i opened that on my main account i know that for a fact but i forget what it is because we do already have that Taylor Maze as we get a flashback. 
87 overall, of course. 82, 86, so that's not too bad. And 84, Ladainley and Tomlinson. All right, like I said, I don't really know what this is because we already have that Taylor Mays. So I thought that's what this was, but it wouldn't be. Oh, yeah, wow, this pack sucks. I guess we'll just go ahead and take up the Russell Wilson because he did get a legend card and hopefully that'll sell for something. Like I said, boys, we're not gonna be doing too much team building until the end of the video because I got one crucial tip that I wanna share with you guys while like building a team in general, especially if you have low coins. Alrighty, boys, so looking over at our team here on offense, the new player that we did add is this 92 overall George Kittle. This might look strange to some of you guys because you probably don't even know how I got this card. I'm assuming some of you guys do, but basically you could go over to the yard and do like some Gatorade challenges and it gives you the choice of like five 92 overall players. And I was like, hey, this would be a perfect time to pick up a tight end. As you guys could probably tell, all of those free packs came from the Gauntlet, Gridiron Forge, I forget what it's called, but we do get this 95 DJ Reader who is a Nat. So as you guys can see now, we are an 83 overall. Boys, now you can see we have a lot of stuff that has sold and we are up to 293,000 coins. I couldn't find a coin method to save my life, so we'll probably stick on the get a player pack and stuff like that, and team builder sets as well, just for a little bit until I can A, find something or content releases that allows us to make coins through a loophole or something like that. All right, boys, I just did something and I need to show you guys. So as you guys can see here, we have three most feared 90 overalls, which adds up to a total of 100,550 coins. But what we're going to do is going to help build our team number one, make an investment and maybe make a little profit. But worst case scenario, we'll lose like one or two K. So what I'm going to be able to do here is Jesse Bates has his most feared card, but also, which is right here, is we get three 90 overall cards. And for right now, we're just going to go ahead and sell the Jesse Bates back. Well, boys, there's one problem with that is we do actually have to take these 90 overalls right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that decision now. I... All right, boys, so the decision I'm gonna make here is we're gonna go ahead and pick up a center. We're gonna go pick up a right guard. And we're also gonna go ahead and pick up a left guard. The reason we're gonna do that is the interior linemen in this game don't really matter too much, but we do need some solid guys that can actually block. So these three guys will be fine to make our final team. And anyways, back to what I was saying earlier as you guys can see jesse bates is selling for around 110k we completed the set for around 100k so after tax we're gonna be about breaking even but also we are adding three pretty solid net linemen all right boys and here's our updated offense obviously not that amazing but at the same time it's pretty solid we have a pretty decent o line we have a great tight end to be honest and we have one of the best wide receivers in the game but for right now we have a really solid offense anyways back to what i was saying earlier about there aren't really that great a coin making methods so like i said probably gap packs maybe play some more solos that's about it for right now all right boys so after some more get a player packs a lot of solos we're at 378,000 coins only one issue though is i made one big mistake going on over to my item binder here i made a lot of investments into the super bowl present promo as you guys can see here obviously one of the guys were robert woods issue with him is he's not selling but i also invested in three other players which were jesse bates jordan fuller and the fourth being Von Bell. It's now Thursday afternoon and this Thursday morning they revealed the Super Bowl present promo and not one of those guys were in there. So all of these cards end up having no value and the most I've been able to sell them for is 1000 and yet as you guys can see I haven't even been able to sell a Robert Woods. So we probably lost about 50k to 100k that we didn't have to. But like I said we played a lot of solos and LTDs are in packs and I have a couple free packs that I earned so let's go open those. All right so first up here is a gridiron pack. I think we got like two of these so we'll go Go ahead and open this hopefully we can get something good nothing there nothing there nothing there absolute terrible first pack second pack right here and like i said there are ltds in here so there is a chance um and nothing there except for an 85 the next pack that we have here and kind of the last real pack that we have is this pro fancy pack so let's go ahead and open this Ooh, actually not a bad first round we'll go ahead and take these 80s and oh an 83 as well that's actually a really good pack second round right here hopefully we can get something good sadly not but anyways let me show you guys the solos that i went ahead and played the challenges that we played obviously early in the video i showed you guys the black history month solos i did get a couple of those guys up to 93 and we'll look at those two in a second i finished the entire team of the year section which will give us a free team of the year player i finished the playoff section which will give us a leonard floyd i finished campus heroes 2 like i said earlier and yeah that's about it and the first free player that i'm going to show you guys real quick is a black history month player we ended up finishing lamar jackson he will probably be our starting quarterback at the end of this video and honestly can you blame me he has pass lead elite and hot route master the only thing he's kind of missing is escape artist but for cheap ap i can't really complain the next player was another black history month player and this is Najee harris he is a wide receiver but he does
does have Leapfrog and Bulldozer, and I think that might be deep out elite. I'm not too sure about that. But yeah, solid wide receiver. Obviously, it'll be behind Lance Allworth, but that gives us another receiver that we're able to use. The first pack is the Team of the Year Fantasy Pack. I'm going to get seven choices. Hopefully, we can get one player that I really want. We already have a quarterback. We already have some stud wide receivers. Already have a George Kittle at tight end, so we're most likely going to be taking a defensive player here. We don't need Justin Herbert. We don't need Trent Brown. Ali Marpet right here. Obviously, we already have a guard. DeForest Buckner. Obviously, we don't want to take a D tackle, hopefully. Joey Bosa. I don't think so. And our last defensive player, please give us a cornerback. And we do get 96 overall Denzel Ward. I don't really care what that last... Oh, shoot. I don't really care. I have Denzel Ward on my main account, on my main team. The dude is an absolute stud. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick Denzel Ward. All right, going into our 94 end cat campus hero. I was really planning on taking a wide receiver until I ended up getting that Najee Harris. We obviously don't need a center. Ahmad Green is an okay running back, but I kind of want to get somebody else later. We already have a tight end. We don't need Sam Bradford. We don't, I don't really like having that great of middle linebackers because I don't really even use them. A DT wouldn't be terrible. We already have Leonard Floyd. So it really comes down to Jack Tatum, Landry, McFarlane. Coming down to these three, I really don't think we need a D tackle. So it really comes down to these two right here. I think you could honestly go either way but we are going to get taylor Mays, and we might be able to level him up pretty far so for now we're going to go ahead and take the jack tatum strong safety card anyways boys let's go ahead and look at our new star studded lineup all right so currently we're an 84 overall with an 86 offense and an 83 defense and now boys we are in an 88 overall with an 88 offense and an 88 defense and we haven't even spent a single coin on this team let's go look at the lineup let's just go through this real quick we have lamar we have lance we have Najee harris we might need one more wide receiver that's kind of okay and we obviously need at least one running back we could use another tight end obviously maybe and also we need two tackles still over on defense though we're kind of looking stacked we have an outside pass rusher we have a great dt and we could probably use one more outside pass rusher probably two more cornerbacks and maybe one or two more safeties but other than that this team is looking really good still it isn't friday yet so super bowl present hasn't dropped so for the rest of the day i'll probably open gap packs try to get my coins up a little bit more and soon boys we're gonna spend all of our coins on making one of the best teams in the game possible by using one of the best no money spent tips i can give so keep on watching never mind boys i don't think we're gonna need to make too many more coins here we might be able to pull this off with 400k but first let's go ahead and open a training reroll since i have the training to be able to do it. hopefully we can get lights in the background for a good pull not likely though obviously but we do get a 90 overall card, and we're going to take that. That's actually pretty good. Selling for around 30K, and that's going to push us over 400K. And now, boys, I'm going to show you guys how we're going to build a pretty solid team here for pretty cheap. The method to the madness on how we're actually going to be able to do this is we are going to be getting end cap players for cheap, and let me show you how. Going over to sets, the ones we're going to be using here are playoff, zero, chill, and harvest. All of these, once you complete a master set, give you three end cap 94s, 93s, and 92s. So let's go complete the first one, which is the playoff set. I already have one of the playoff cards for 110k, so we just gotta buy a couple more real quick. There's one for 112k right there, and we'll go ahead and pick another one up for 115k. A little bit of an overs pay, but I think we'll be fine. Alright, so now that we have our three 94 overall players, we can go ahead and complete one of the playoff sets. And like I just showed a little bit ago, we're gonna be able to get three 394 end cats back now yes you guys might be thinking right now we only have 71,000 coins how are we supposed to make our coins back we're gonna sell evan mcpherson back but anyways the 94s that we're gonna be picking up for our actual team are gonna be taylor lawan amani hooker and this final card that we're gonna take is this marcus golden i think and after we take those guys we're gonna go ahead over to the auction block and sell our evan mcpherson back for around 300k which is the, what he's selling for pretty consistently. Alrighty, boys, our Evan McPherson did just sell, so we're gonna go ahead and complete the zero chill part now. These zero chill cards are about 90,000 coins a piece, so we're obviously gonna have to go ahead and pick up three of these. Alright, and that is number three right there. We spent around 90 to 92,000 on each of those 93s. We're now gonna go over to check how much the 95s are a piece. Looking at all of them, the most expensive one looks to be Kyler Murray for 228,000 coins. So just like that, that playoff set we're gonna get three 93 nats or end cats alongside kyler murray and his power up and just like that we completed the kyler murray set there's kyler murray there his there's his power
power up and here you can take a look at all the end cats that you could go ahead and choose but for me personally i'm gonna get legerius sneed i'm gonna get darius slay and i'm gonna get lane johnson all right now last but not least boys we got to go ahead and complete the harvest set these guys are going for around 60k so it's gonna cost about 180,000 coins to complete this set so next thing we gotta do before we complete that set is pick up a tight end number two to back up george kittle just in case we ever use this team we're gonna need somebody if we run like a two tight end set so i really don't know much about my budget tight ends but we're gonna go ahead and pick up john Mackey. and now let's go ahead and complete that harvest set now one card you guys haven't seen me pick up just yet is a running back card and like we kind of need a running back right well for this set since we don't need any more players after this we are going to go ahead and complete this alvin Kamara set and we're actually going to keep alvin Kamara. we get both his main 94 and his power up and then for the options these are the options we have and for my three selections out of all of these guys right here is we would get denzel ward but we already have his team of the year keep in mind so we're going to go ahead and pick up debo samuel for our wide receiver three cameron jordan even though he's a left end he'll play d tackle and justin simmons as well and just like that boys we have fully completed this team and just like that boys for one last time 88 overall team let's transform it in three two one Alrighty, boys, and here's our final team, 91 overall, 92 offense, and 91 defense, but this overall is actually better, and let me show you why. First off, let's do take a look at our offense. It is pretty solid, to be honest. Obviously, like I said at the beginning of this video, this isn't going to be the best team in Madden. It was just going to be a team that we were going to build from scratch inside of one video, and I think we did a pretty good job. So yeah, like I said, Lamar quarterback, Alvin Kamara, we didn't get a good backup running back, but 88 overall isn't too bad. Pretty solid wide receiver core, decent tight end core and a pretty solid old line as well. And this is where I said our overall doesn't really match is because Cameron Jordan will actually play D tackle as well as we have some pretty crappy middle linebackers that won't ever touch the field. Our backups also will play instead of these middle linebackers, which would make our overall better, meaning we probably have as close to a 92 to a 93 overall team. If you guys want to see me play with this team on stream or make another video with it, please let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and peace out, boys.